Now, we're about to talk about a case where this guy basically got rejected and turned down by this girl. He stalked her, murdered her, and then lived with her dead body. This video is about to be so insane. Y'all go get y'all snacks because people are crazy. Now, in South Korea, they don't name the name of the victim, so we have to make up a name for her. We're gonna name her Victoria. She is this big, huge gamer. She loved the game. She would meet up at this public gaming place and you pay an hourly fee. But then, of course, the guy named Kim comes to this new group and he begins the game at this same gaming area. They described him as the quiet guy. He just loved playing to himself and he really, really loved video games. Kim started to develop some feelings for her. So he went towards her and he expressed those feelings, but she turned him completely down. And I just want to throw this out here. He's a normal looking guy. He don't look off, but you never know. He wanted what he wanted and he was going to get what he wanted and then it got so bad to of, of course to the point where she just told him completely off he was being too aggressive to her because he did not want to accept the rejection he was harassing her every time in the gaming chats and he began to stalk her online she would block him continuously but he kept making new accounts new accounts new account he wanted to know what she was doing in her everyday life he wanted to be updated so it's almost like she stuck she could not get rid of him at all and it got so crazy i don't know how these stalkers be so smart but they do and i'm sorry to say it but it's true she even got a new number he found her new number and started calling her off of friends phones and paypal phones so this girl could not get rid of this guy at all just like off of movies, you know how a stalker would study your routines. They know what time you do this. They know what time you do this. And they know what time you do this. Well, he studied exactly all of her routines, her favorite places. He knew what time she was going to go to her favorite places. And he knew that he needed to arrive at the time she was going to arrive at her favorite places. She had to switch her whole routine. It was that bad. Obviously, this is not good to say, but he was playing his cards right as a stalker. He knew exactly what he was doing. It was almost like he'd done this before. Even when she switched her routine, he always knew where she was at all times. Yeah. If y'all have posts like this right now, delete them. She posted a picture way back and it was just for her content of a package, you know, just for her gaming content. This wasn't supposed to be nothing out of the ordinary, but this package had her address on it. So as he's scrolling and stalking all through her social media, he found this picture with the package that shows her address. He now knows where she lives. And this was a complete big mistake. How could she would have known? So now this is when Kim was thinking of a plan. He's been thinking of a plan for weeks weeks on head so this was kind of premeditated anyone that's like this that put on all black a mask a book sack a tape in a book sack you know that this can only go in the wrong direction the surveillance camera caught him at the pc bank this is where victoria game at he stayed there for 10 minutes didn't turn on the game at all at 5 p.m he posed as this delivery man knocked on her door and he waited now Speaking of this, I want to talk about this because a lot of people always do this. One of them pretending to be a delivery driver. They say a man approached them on their porch and asked if they ordered food. When they said no, they say he held them at gunpoint. A brazen robber posing to sell candy. What appeared to be a young man selling candy in a North Stockton, Murata area neighborhood quickly turned into a homeowner's worst nightmare. Fake to pretend to be a cop, a delivery man. Or somebody who sells something in the street and it will either rob you kidnap you or murder you so next time you see that person outside your door delivering anything or asking you anything ask them to leave it at the doorstep wait till they leave because there might be a person right outside the house waiting for you this world dark is not fair but heard a voice through the other side of the door said put the package down and leave what they were supposed to do, exactly what they were supposed to do. Kim pretended to leave and he waited on the side of the door. He waited minutes. She opened the door and he ran. She almost got pushed and moved in the house and he got the knife. And now you see why people put cameras all around their house these days and why cameras is a big, big, huge thing.
I don't know if she had cameras, but it could potentially save your life. If she would have at least looked at her cameras, if she do have cameras, or if they would have have installed cameras. But wait, that wasn't Victoria. That was Victoria's younger sister. He thought it was her, but it wasn't her. He waited five hours inside of their place. When the door opened, when he seen somebody, he automatically attacked them, went straight for the neck. It was the mother. It wasn't Victoria. The mother couldn't even react in time. Now time went by, time went by, time went by, until Victoria arrived at 11 p.m. When she opened the door, she see her sister and her mother lifeless body just laying there. Looks up and see Kim. He done the same thing what he done to the sister and the mom to her. That's an entire family. They life's gone. When y'all females reject the guy, always do it in a nice way. Give him a number, maybe fake number. If you know you're not going to see him at this place again, or if you know you're not going to be at this place again, if you think you're going to run into him again, reject him in the nicest way. If he keep pushing it and keep pushing it, keep it calm, keep it nice. Don't piss him off because he might just be crazy just like this. Or say you married, engaged, or you have a boyfriend. Just go with the obvious. Younger sister and the mom, the murder of them was an accident. The police knew he planned everything. He even bought extra clothes. And yes, he did stalk her for months and months. He did receive life in prison, but this case was so crazy and disturbing and huge in South Korea that for stalking, you can only get like a misdemeanor. Now, you can serve up to five years. <laughs> for stalking. Of course, this is too late for Victoria, but people in the future, the stalking law is way bigger than expected. But wait, let's get deeper into this stalking situation. I have this laptop in my room. When I open it, it has a camera. Every time I lay in bed and I leave my laptop open, I feel like somebody's watching me. We do see cases where uh, people will get onto your computer and activate your camera and will look at what you're doing. It's not really paranoia at all. You probably should cover your camera. And somebody could be watching you. That's why in today's world, we put tape over it. Should you cover your webcam? Former FBI Director James Comey thinks you should. Do you still have a piece of tape over your uh, cameras Heck at yeah. home? Heck yeah. I have yet to put tape over the camera. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just dumb. By the way, yes. And I'ma go on Google. And do you see what it says at the top right there? You see that about hacking? In the last seven days, Safari has prevented zero trackers from profiling you and hitting your IP address from known trackers. Now let's go in Safari and let's just type in anything random. My favorite color, green. Let's close out and let's wait a couple minutes. Let's just wait. Kid you not, it has not even been two minutes yet and I already have one tracker prevented. Where at? Google. On Google. So yes, they're being prevented, but can your phone get hacked? Can it get tracked? Can these people find your IP address, know where you live? Find out where you live, you got a laptop that's not covered in tape. You wake up to see somebody over your head, then what? Then you search on Safari, at least I do this. I go in my settings. I go to Safari and I clear web and search history data. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't know how people are able to do this this quick, but it's literally crazy. And for that specific reason, I feel like somebody can easily prey on you, stalk you, or do whatever it is they need to do to you. Now, I'm sorry to do this, but I have to make you a little bit more nervous. Anything that can connect to the internet that's wireless, you can get hacked easily and you can get stalked. TVs. All smart devices, including the microwaves, vacuums, and door locks. Smart devices that hook up to the internet and can be controlled by your phone. Shows us just how easy it is to hack your home. Yes. Now, obviously, the whole reason why I bought this up is because of stalking. I don't know. I just thought I'd let y'all know. I just started off in your world. I just started off